In this video, we're going to take a look at solving equations that involve some parentheses. In a future unit, we're going to go through and do some more difficult problems with this. But in these problems that we're going to work with and with these homework assignments, we're going to be looking at a set of parentheses that has a negative in front. And we're going to talk about what to do with that. So let's take a look at a, an example here. If we have a problem that looks like this, and we're just going to simplify this first one because there's no equal symbol, so we're not solving. Just want to simplify. I need to do something to get rid of the parentheses so I can combine my like terms. There is a negative on the outside of that set of parentheses. Now, even though it is not written, that negative is actually a negative 1. We don't need to write a 1 when we are multiplying because everything is multiplied by 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm that means that I have a negative and 6x's and I have a negative 4. So essentially, we're doing the distributive property with the negative 1 to both the items inside of the set of parentheses. So my next step in this problem would be 5x minus 2 minus 6x when I distribute here and minus 4 when I distribute here. Once I have this, I can now go through and combine like terms. When I'm combining like terms, I look at my x's. I have a 5x and a negative 6x. That's going to end up being a negative 1x. And then I also have a negative 2 and a negative 4. And I can combine those two to be a negative 6. So the original problem in blue simplifies down to negative x minus 6. Let's take a look at another example. On this problem, it does have an equal symbol. So now I am going to solve. I'm not just going to combine like terms, but I'm going to solve for x. So the first thing I want to look at again is my set of parentheses. And there, there is, again, a negative out front. That is the same as a negative 1. So I'm going to distribute that negative 1. So I have a 4 plus 3x. Those do not change. When I distribute the negative 1 times 2x, I get a negative 2x. And when I distribute the negative 1 to a negative 3, negative 1 and negative 3 is a positive 3. And that equals 7. Now on the left side of my equal symbol, I'm going to go through and combine like terms. So I end up getting 3x and negative x is positive 1x. 4 and 3 is positive 7 equals 7. And to solve for x, I'm going to subtract the 7 from both sides. And my final answer is x equals 0. So when I put 0 in for x, I'm going to end up getting it to equal. This side will end up equaling 7. Hope that helps.